What's your crush army? Listen, man, I am here. Your motivation guy is here today. We're gonna be taking you through everything that you need to do to succeed at every level of the FNCS this season. You know, going from the opens all the way to the finals, all the way up to the money prizes, you know, in the grand finals. And you know, by this time you finish the video, man, you're gonna have a set path to success all laid out in front of you guys. You guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. So to make qualifying through the rounds is a breeze, but you need to understand the points and qualification format, all right? So the point system is a very, you know, placement dependent format, but it can also heavily reward high elimination games. So in the first three qualifier rounds, each elimination is worth one point, and you start getting placement points from the top 17 all the way to the victory out. So from the top 17 to the top four, you know, you're gonna be rewarded one point for each placement. Then, you know, if you place in the top three, you get two points, you know, four points for the top two, and five points for the win. In the finals, however, the point system changes up a lot. You know, each elimination is worth two points and placements start to really come in at the top 24. You get a huge five points, you know, for placing in the top 24, three points for the top 17, then one point for each placement up until the top 10. The top 10 will get you two points, then one point for each placement until the top three. The top three and top two will get you two points each, then four points for the victory royale. As you can really see, like the format of the finals is just much more balanced out and rewards really how long your team stays alive rather than rewarding pop-offs. So consistency is key. You know, you should always look to really place at least around the top 10 every single game to be able to qualify through each round. Playing this consistent is very hard, but it definitely requires your team to get lucky sometimes. And so without any practice, this can be tough. So make sure you always use your W key lobbies to really maximize your points before you end up in harder lobbies later on. You know, since you're gonna be playing against worse players in your first game, always try to get a lot of kills so you can have a huge lead against the competition. And so for a visual representation of the point system, take a look at the compete tab in game for all specific details. So to participate in the FNCS Open Qualifiers, your entire trio must be in the champions division. And so once your entire trio has reached champs, be ready to play each qualifier on Friday. Like the first qualifier is gonna be very easy and just requires your trio, you know, really to have three to four good games to really qualify to the next round. To qualify for the quarterfinals, your trio must place in the top 1500 out of all the other teams playing. And so this is very easy for, you know, well-established teams. Just make sure you don't get too overconfident. All right, so in the quarterfinals, you must place in the top 250. And this is where it gets hard. You know, many pro teams can argue that qualifying for semifinals is more stressful than finals due to how different it is than just playing a set lobby. However, if you clutch up and perform your best, you can easily qualify for the semifinals. From there, you need to place in the top 33 to qualify, you know, for the big leagues. And the finals, only the best of the best can really qualify for the grand finals as the top three goes straight to grands. However, being consistent and even qualifying for the final two times will qualify you to heat with series points. Series points reward your consistency, so don't be the motivator, right? Let me say this, if you really wanna make it into the FNCS, but you know, you just keep falling short every time, you gotta check out ProGuys.com right now. Not only do we have pro coaches with tons of experience ready and waiting to help you guys out, but we've also got master classes from some of the best pros in the Fortnite community that will teach you exactly how to play just like one of the best. So just click the link in the top right to get started. All right, playing with the reliable and skilled trio guys is crucial if you wanna have success in competitive Fortnite. Always start looking for teammates at least a week before each tournament and really just make sure they match your skill level. You know, a good way to find teammates is through Discord and other social media sites, you know. All you have to do is really make a post with your achievements, you know, stats and characteristics about yourself. After this, you can really easily find teammates that you know are gonna be up to your level. Whether you look at them in terms of like power rankings or earnings, you know, some get Discord servers to look for teammates are open scrims or Atlantis scrims. Those are like the two most popular open scrim servers and will get you the perfect teammate in no time. And after you find someone that seems like a good match, hey, play a few games, you know, here and there, practice and scrimmages, arena, and even some creative 3v3s. And if you think your teammates are perfect for you, yo, stick with them and build that chemistry. You know, what a lot of players fail to do, unfortunately, is really just sticking with the same teammates. Like, you don't have to do that, <laughs> you know? If it's not working out, there's always someone better, for real, for real, when you have a team and you're trying to compete at the highest level. So just never split up. Also, you know, after just one bad tournament, especially if there are just mistakes made by everybody in the trio. So, you know, keeping the same momentum 
momentum that you have before the tourney is definitely important, especially in consistency based formats like FNCS and Heat. So, you know, the main point is try to stay consistent, but you know, if it isn't working out and you guys are not improving, then it's time to find some new teammates. So to stay consistent, you really need to have set rules within your trio that really allow you to make the best out of your trio's chemistry. The best trios will always have three roles in their team, all right? The IGL, Fragger, and Support. So the IGL must be very decisive, you know, great at understanding rotations and should know how to position your trio in each zone, while also being able to really tarp in high stakes situations. IGL stands for in-game leader. They are the captain of the team. The Fragger is the best fighter on the team, right? And needs to have the top tier mechanics. You know, the Fragger always looks for easy kills to refresh their team's resources. Finally, the support player, you know, helps the team succeed by carrying the most resources and refreshing the team's materials and resources with the help of a harpoon and the Fragger. Okay, so make sure everybody in your trio fits these three roles and know how to work with each other, all right? The more you guys practice together, the better that you can understand each other's play styles. You know, the fragger and support are very crucial as they work together to get refreshes. So having good chemistry will improve your fighting skill and it really helps your trio really stick together and think the same way. All right, guys, so to recap, make sure you can find the perfect teammates and just really take your time with it. Play with them, man, and just see if they fit perfectly. And if not, hey, be honest with them. Never just stoop lower to another player's level and really use your time wisely when really looking for teammates, all right? Make sure everyone fits each other's roles perfectly in the trio and just always practice any chance you get. All right, bunch of crush some. I hope you guys are still here. It's time for the question of the day. Today, we want to know, what's your favorite FNCS format so far? Like, were you a fan of squads or did you prefer smaller formats like solos or duos? Or is like trios the format that's perfect for you? Let us know in the comments section and we're definitely going to check it out. All right. Just by looking at the FNCS format, like you can already tell how important playing for placement is. Like no matter how bad it gets, guys, never start, you know, just W King, especially if you're in a low ELO lobby. You know, this allows you to stay consistent with your points and still gets you a couple of kills during the end game. Placement is, you know, the most viable strategy, you know, and is really definitely the way, you know, every team qualifies. You cannot waste more than two games and you must have enough time to really get into at least five or six end games. A strategy that every pro uses when they are having a bad day is just forcing themselves to take breaks. You know, limit yourself to playing three games per hour. And, you know, if you go over, just take a small break, man. It really, really helps. And this is going to give you guys just much easier lobbies and it's going to give you a huge chance to really pop off. So being consistent takes a lot of practice as well as being able to learn an uncontested drop spot and synergy between teammates. So important. But once that is achieved, man, you can easily go all the way to the finals. So when playing for placement, don't be afraid of getting kills. Like if you see a perfect opportunity to frag out, yo, frag out, you know, flip that switch, you know, but also be versatile and just play smart. Like never waste your games and always have better positioning than your opponents. Stay consistent, you know, you gotta be consistent in everything you do, especially while practicing with your trio. All right, VOD reviewing is a great way to improve your trio's performance as well. So just make sure, you know, like one of your trio members always has replays on so you can look back to see, you know, who made the mistakes and what happened, you know, that really caused your trio to really mess up that game. Never blame things on your teammates. I know it's hard to do. Just don't do it, man. And just work together to see what you guys can improve, all right? So after reviewing your own gameplay, you should definitely check out some VODs from pro players just by watching them, guys. So you can tell, you know, they know their job spots and, you know, they have their knowledge of the map. They rotate perfectly. They use all of their practice to really produce an absolute powerhouse trio. And so you may notice that, you know, professional players play way differently than the average player. And that's just because of how much work they put in it. It just really goes to show how much work they put in it. You know, they have the best mechanics and aim and are extremely confident in fighting. They push every team that they see and, you know, almost really don't even care if they die. So the average team shouldn't just replicate this, instead should really actually look at some newly formed trios and really just, you know, watch the true underdogs. You know, watching, you know, what they did to really qualify for the finals and just try learning from them. Because every single month, newly formed FNCS trios barely qualify. And a kill or two is really the difference between their qualification. So trying to replicate them and really matching it with your own play style is an even better way of really improving yourself. And remember guys, practice is the key. Practicing like the pros is the best thing that you can do. And Pro Guys, yo, is here to guide you through it. And you already know I'm here for you guys. Your motivation guy is here to build your confidence up because with confidence, honestly, you can do anything. And if you're lacking in anything in your life, you know, just remember, you know, practice gets your confidence going. 
So practicing, grinding it out, you know, repetition, yo, that it just changes everything. So you can do it, man. I believe in you. Bunch of croissants, Okay, so that's all we got for you guys today. Hey, try to remember every single tip that we mentioned and just stick to the strategy that really suits your play style the best. You know, practice hard, man, and just build chemistry with your trio. You know, whether it's by playing arena games or in some custom scrims, you can do it. And if you want some more motivation, connect with me on my Instagram at yourmotivationguy. Hey, I'm gonna see you on the next one. Keep grinding, never stop. Peace.